Yesterday, I spoke with Sergeant Kyle Beasley with the Ware Shoals Police Department about the drowning that happened on Monday. That's when there was another cry for help. He says while playing in the river can be fun, he warns people that looks can be deceiving. Sergeant Kyle Beasley says in any drowning situation, every second counts. When that time is clicking in your head, you, you know, you get really nervous and, you, and everything that you are trying to accomplish kind of gets hazy. This was no different on Tuesday when another person drowned in the Saluda River. Beasley and his partner again, the first on the scene. You never can underestimate Mother Nature. If you bring your kids out here, show them, hey, you're in distress, show me a sign, wave your hands, yell, scream, let, let somebody know. There are so many families out here, they're not only watching their kids, they're watching everybody else out here. One witness at Tuesday's drowning believed the park will be closed. No, this park will be closed. Yeah, it's, it's already closed. <laughs> After this, it's closed. Mayor Scott Horn tells me the park shouldn't be closed, but says they aren't afraid to make changes. So it goes deeper than just the person that had the accident. It, it's uh, it, it's life changing for everybody around them. And if there's anything we can do to make our river safer, we will. Regardless, Beasy believes these tragedies will stick with this community forever. It's not the ones that you say that you always remember, it's the ones you can't. And it always goes back in your mind. Um, but Pitts Park is going to change my life forever. I, I know it, it put a touch on everybody that was here. There will be a community meeting tomorrow at 530 at the town hall to talk about what's next for Irving Pitts Memorial Park. Mayor Horn encouraged people if they decide to swim in the river to please be safe. In Ware Shoals, Carlos Flores, WYFF News 4.